Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 where last time we defeated Auntie Ethel one more time and this time permanently we think uh, freeing the child Venra was that her name Vanra something like that and finally putting Connor Marina's husband to rest after having convinced her any day I don't know. I think you still got a few more days. Oh, I didn't mean to walk in here. Did I actually tell you that? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we did all that. And, um... That's it for that. So, what were we gonna do? We're gonna go look at these buildings, right? We're gonna check out these buildings here. And then we were gonna make our way further uh, west into the western part of the city. I don't know how far the city goes. Can't really tell. Yeah, there's no way of really knowing. So let's go ahead and check those buildings out. Now, we do need to go into the sewers to find the uh, catacombs that the Mummy Lord was from. Um, I actually don't remember how to get to the sewers. How did we get to the sewers before? Was it through the... Uh, the tavern? I don't remember. I think it's up here. Yeah, it's these buildings. All right, up here. What have we got going on here? The Diabolic Forge. Oh, I have, uh, good, I have uh, Karlak with me. Oh, wait, it's Damon. Would be a lot better if you find a way to fix this engine, Damon. I haven't stopped trying. But all roads lead to a dead end. Sorry, I didn't mean. Never mind. Glad you're all right in any case. Nice forge you've got here. Best I've had in years. Mistress of the house lets me operate from here for a fair price. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy. Good. Someone should be. Can we see your wares? And also, do you have like a. A rag I can wipe the dirt off my face with. Alright, we got the armor of persistence down here. Magical plate. All incoming damage is reduced by two. Resistance to blade ward. Oh, you gain resistance and blade ward. That's pretty good. I don't have anybody that's using heavy plate at the moment, though. Boots of persistence. Freedom of movement and long strider. Ooh, that's medium armor. I'm gonna buy those. And then... Legacy of the Masters. Gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls with weapons. I'm gonna buy those too. Some good stuff. You have this sword here. Sword of Life Stealing. On a critical hit, the target takes an extra... 10 necrotic damage. As long as it isn't a construct or an undead, you also gain 10 temporary hit points. That could also be good. It's not too expensive. We'll buy it. I think that's all we want to get. Do we have anything I want to sell you? Who knows? It's impossible to know what I want to sell. I guess I don't want these hats or masks. Don't put them on. Although, they shouldn't have any effect anymore. Okay. Got us a little bit of money back. Alright. Shout if you need anything else. Leave. Okay, so we've got these boots here. Oop. I guess I need to send them to you first. Uh boots of persistence. And where are those gloves at? Um, hold off on those for a second. You got the boots. Which you're currently using these. How to spell that because you gain more momentum. That is pretty good, but I think... 
freedom movement and long strider might be better. Or rather, I like that more. Um, okay, so... What, what gloves do you have? Uh, advantage on sleight of hand check. Oh, right, you have the gloves of thievery. Alright, what gloves do you have? When the wearer chooses to end their rage... Okay, we never end our rage. Let's give these to you then. Can you wear these? I guess is the bigger question. Does that affect my ability to rage? I don't know. I don't know if it's only counting this armor. Or if this counts as armor. It says medium armor, but... That's a pretty good uh, bonus, so if it doesn't count, that'll be good. Alright, so for your weapons, you got this thing here. And you've got this thing here. I think that one's pretty good. So, let's give you this here and see how it compares. How delicious. Oh, you have Woe, too. Woe. That's 3 to 19 damage. What is this? Oh, it's a quarter staff. Never mind, you don't want to use that. Uh, we have this, 9 to 23 damage. It's a sword sword. So, it should be better than this weapon. You will lose hold person, which is a good weapon. Yeah, it looks like you just it's just straight up better in every sense of the word. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that then. Cool. Alright, was there anybody else inside? Oh, it's locked. Let's keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. I don't really like how that loses your attitude. Like, come on, give me a break. I didn't mean to. I was just, I didn't see that it was locked before I clicked on it. I didn't think it would be locked. All right, what is this place? There's no uh, sign outside of it. It's in the mailbox. Thank you for dinner. Dear Tally, thank you again for having us over the other night. I can't tell you how nice it was to just sit around a table, eat good food, and talk again. It feels like the whole world's gone mad, so having a normal meal with friends was such a treat, especially for the kids. Speaking of, if you ever need us, to take Io so you so you and Tim can have some time for yourselves, be more than happy to. I didn't want to pry and risk spoiling the evening, but Tim seems did seem a little on edge. Just let us know, and thank you again. Love, Sabine, Freddy, and the kids. Alright, so it's just a family home. Hello, Tim, Armburst. This is a private home, understand? Well, it wasn't locked. Tally. Hello? I, um, wasn't expecting any guests. Alright. You guys are suspicious sounding. Guests just walk into your home. You're supposed to be nice. Io. Hello. Are you a tax collector? Papa told me I shouldn't talk to them if they showed up. I am not a tax collector. Bits. Again, I didn't mean to click on that. You're being arrested for theft. If you have a defense, <sighs> make it now. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I... <laughs> Ah, it's so annoying. I even tried to like click off of it. I but... you. For now. But something tell Okay, I just want to read the book. Thank you. The journal is filled with sketches of dresses, notes on unusual stitches, and several intricately detailed embroidery patterns. Okay. Is there really nothing to this house? 
Maybe there's a quest here at some point. I'm sorry for stealing your book, by the way. I didn't mean to. A tale of misclicks today. Alright, let's head west. See what else we can find. And keep an eye out for any uh, sewer entrances. We might go in there. If we stumble across one. This is the, um... The Diabolist, right? Yeah, okay. We need to do that too at some point, but... This act is a lot longer than I thought. I read that this was supposed to be the shortest act, but it seems like it might be the longest act. Well, act one's pretty long, but... Alright, so this is the, uh, the, uh, the park, which we haven't really explored fully yet, so let's go ahead and take a look around. You do? Are you sure it's not the flowers you're smelling? You may be allergic. Hmm. But better safe than sorry, oh, yes, I mean, we've already been ambushed here once. It's probably a line for when you first come here. Weary of foreigners. Yeah, a whole bunch of people aren't. We should look at those on the notice board. Let's go do that now. We might have seen them all before, but just in case. All right, what do we got here? Be wary of foreigners. Foreigners, foreigner, fo <laughs> foreigners should be shunned. Their decadent ideas infect our youth, and they steal barbarian resources without contributing anything. The recent wave of refugees should be driven from Baldur's Gate. Let other cities take them in. Baldur's Gate has already given enough. Stay tonight at the Elf Song. Rooms available at the Elf Song Tavern for parties large or small. See Innkeeper Alan Aleth at the bar. Anti Hag support group poster. Can't reach it. For the stout and sturdy, increased missing poster. Okay. Can I really not read that? I'm too short. Missing. Chessa. Reward offered for any information on our beloved child. Gratefully received at Gur Encampment in Worms Crossing. Alright, well, the Gur, we don't know about them anymore. Alright, anything else in this park? The Joyous. Joy and stone. Compliments of stony and bony. Stony and bony? Old ruined bench. Really fix that up. This is overgrown over here. Where's the ground keep? The groundskeeper. Okay. Talus. We got a little water over here. Very nice, very nice. Featuring a deck of 70 to 78 cards, Talus occupies a place alongside chess and draughts as one of those games that uh, carbuncular gentlemen play over warming mugs of ale at the back of taverns or over vile flavorless biscuits in the dining room of the dining room corner at every major familial celebration, including birthdays. It is a deck allowing the player access to games of vast strategic depth involving four suits and one trump suit called the Major Arcana. These games include Whist, Poker, Elemental Empires, Old Wizard, and let's just make a card tower I can hardly see. I've had that many pints, lad. It's a good game there. Okay. What do we got? Everybody failed? Everybody failed. Okay, well. And... Are they talking about the battle? What a loser. Okay. It was actually me. I killed all the people. 
little brats trying to take credit for what I did. How dare they? Alright. So this is the blushing mermaid to the left there. Alright, over here we have more murder stuff. Although in this big building. We didn't see an entrance to this building over here, right? No, it looks like we'd have to go all the way around. Which is fine. Alright, what's this building here? We got Goldbraith's home. Enter those for whom justice and truth are thine guiding lights. Okay. Letter of thanks concerning the future of Baldur's Gate. Dear Master Goldbraith, word has been brought to Candlekeep that Baldur's Gate is under threat and there are those who claim that the Mind Flayer plot is being driven from within the city's own seat of power. As a leading expert in Mind Flayers and counter illithid strategies, we would like to consult with you what consult with you that we may pool our resources to destroy such a plot before it takes root. Leave word for us at the lodge, and we will arrange a date and time. The first reader. Letter of thanks. Dear Master Goldbraith Stred Stradivus, I wanted to write to thank you. You see, you saved my life. I recently had the great misfortune to encounter a mind flayer. I had been tracking it with my friends, and when I found myself alone in a clearing, wandering straight into its path, the creature had me cornered. Its tentacles were closing on my mind, but something in me refused to submit. I remembered your words. The greatest thing you can do to offset a mind flayer's design upon you is to have allies. And with that, and with what would surely have been my last breath, I called out to them. They rushed to my aid and freed me from the monster's grasp. It is thanks to them that I was able to survive, but thanks to you that I remembered them. For it was the nugget of, for it was that nugget of thought that you planted, that I was able to recall at the very moment when all was lost. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I shall be your, I shall be sure to buy many copies of your book. That that others may consider themselves similarly armed. With gratitude, a fan. Alright, so we got an author in here. Is he in here? Not looking like it, huh? Well, he's got a hatch over there. Go ahead and close that door. Guess we need to check the wardrobes now that we know people could be hiding in the wardrobes. Alright. Go ahead and open this hatch. If this guy's a expert on mind flayers, it might be important to get to know him. Still breathing, despite everything. Down we go. Go Braith's cellar. This is a deep cellar. A stone wall door. Ah, uh, yes. Of course, there, there would have to be a trap, right? So, where is this guy? He's not in his home. I keep pressing tab to... <laughs> now I'm playing Pathfinder again, too. I keep pressing tab to highlight things. Ugh. Then we got a nice guitar... A katana? Is that the first katana we've seen? I think it might be. Alright, that's probably everything. Oh, no, nope, one more. Sneaky. That chest must have to have something good in it then. Must be traps up there too. Oop, lockpick, I mean. Really? I've got a long road ahead. I thought there was something good in there. 
someone doesn't like visitors. Nothing important in there. Have to keep going. Nothing important in there. Let's get this katana. All right, if it's just events, we don't need to worry about them. There's a button over here. We got close. How to track an illithid. A handwritten tome documenting various tried and tested ways to track mind flayers and results of each endeavor. Then we also got over here. Where is it? Right here. Notes on Mind Flayer Anatomy. Be cautious. Insights gleaned from research. Mind Flayers must consume the brains of humanoids in order to stay alive. It is said that the act of devouring a humanoid brain results in a state of euphoria and contributes to the thin glaze of mucus that coats a Mind Flayer's skin. Some researchers go as so far as to claim that it is possible to deduce how recently another Mind Flayer fed, and indeed the health of its victim, from the viscosity of that mucus. Little is known about what a mind flayer's brain contains. Some have argued that their skulls are filled with eggs that will later become the tadpoles with which they enthrall their victims. Others propose that the brain is in fact a cluster of pure cerebral nerves. Since mind flayers procreate by tadpoling humanoids, they technically have no need of genital genitals. But I have been unable to verify this in the absence of any written record. Well, it seems like I could have verified that for you if uh, I was so inclined. The Emperor was hitting on me pretty heavily last time we talked to him. With his shirt off and everything. With pleasure. I don't know what indicator I gave to him to think that I was uh, no interested, but... Ever believe that. Confident, confidant of a duke. Perhaps because he rose from humble beginnings before becoming a Duke of Baldur's Gate, Abdel Adrian made a habit of donning a hooded cloak and roaming his city streets incognito, observing the citizenry and taking the pulse of the town, as he used to put it. It was on one of those urban excursions that I first met him at an outside table at, on the Elf Song's terrace, when we both summoned the same server and ended up buying each other's ales. We struck up a conversation, and upon finding that I was an adventurer, my new friend plied me, plied me with questions about my trade as a monster hunter. He soon let slip that he once followed the adventurer's trade, and thereafter we met regularly to share a mug or two in tales and tactics. It was some ten days before I realized my interloper, or my interloper, my interloc interlocutor, locutor, was none other than, what the, I've never seen that word before. Interlocutor, I don't know, hmm. was none other than the city's Grand Duke, by which time we were already fast friends. I wasn't overawed at sharing a table with him. This is followed by a rambling account of Goldbraith's history with, with Duke Adrian, consisting primarily of a list of what stories Goldbraith told the Duke about himself. Okay. We'll take it. I don't know if it's useful, but I'll take it. We do have a button over here. As well as a couple other things. We got a pouch. And on psionic manip manipulations and countermeasures. A thorough account of how best to protect your mind from illithid manipulation and subsequent domination. When dealing with mind flayers, remember that it is in their nature to assess the utility, strengths, and weaknesses of those around them and to manipulate in order to get what they want. The best countermeasure you can take against a Mind Flayer is simply to avoid it. Any attempt to outsmart it will fail. If that is not an option, then there are three things to remember that may just save your mind. Number one, pay attention to its actions, not its words. Where Mind Flayers are concerned, it is true that actions speak louder than words, especially words that are tailor, sp tailor spoken to fit a Mind Flayer's manipulative agenda. Two, Strengthen your relationship with others. The greatest thing you can do to offset a Mind Flayer's design upon you is to have allies, strong allies. Trust in those you know you can tr trust and those you know you can trust and build your relationships with them. They are the ones who will have your back when you need it most. 
Number three, even mind flayers have wants and desires. The only circumstances in which a relationship with a mind flayer may be beneficial to you is if you both want exactly the same thing. In the unlikely case that it, that this is true, bear in mind that once you have that that once you have outlived your purpose to a mind flayer, it will have no use for you. Something to remember with the Emperor, huh? Hit the button. Did that do something? I think maybe that just turns off the traps if they're going off. Yeah, I think so. Okay. We got a katana. Which is kind of cool. Look at that. I think it's the first katana we've seen. Alright, go ahead and send it to... Karlak. Karlak. Alright, let's get out of here. A little disappointed. I was hoping to find some more useful information. Basically, kill the mind flayers. That's that's what I learned. Kill them. That's the best way to deal with them. This is just to kill them. All right, we do have a manhole into the sewers here, so I guess we'll go down into the sewers. Yeah, let's go down now. Where does this take us to? Lower city sewers. All right, those are the grease methods. We've ran, we've run into them before. Over here, this is where um, Minsk was at, right? Yeah, over here. Um, looks like there might be something this way. So we can go over there. Don't think there's anything else that way. And then down this way, maybe something there. Doesn't look like we can get to the guild hall from here. But there might be something there that we never really checked out. And then maybe something over here as well. But let's go up this way for now. That's really just down there. These grease balls gonna attack us. Oh come on, Shadowheart, get up. <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness. Take your time. There we go. Okay. Torn journal fragment over here. In a painted chest. An excerpt... An excerpt torn from what appears to be a larger journal. I need to get away from Alice for a while. We've been hiding down here for a while, and the dark is beginning to get to him. He's pushing his fire further and further into the tunnels. And he almost burned Bereki before I could get him out of the way. If those two can't keep their heads straight, then I have to. For all of us. I right, found a loose stone. A locked, painted chest. Let's crack it open. There we go. Can't give up now. And inside... Uh, I guess we'll take the arrows. But I'm kind of kind of done with arrows. I was under the loose stone. Also got a door over there. Bronze ring and a disarm kit. Another loose stone. Take all that. All right. There's none of those rats. Go check at this door, though. Looks like. That's curious. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so that opens up to over there. I just didn't notice it the time we were there before. Alright, there's a loose stone over here. Let's grab this. Ooh. Incomplete journal. A hastily scrawled journal entry. Apparently the last in a series. Alis Berecki. Don't be mad if you find this, boys. I'm not trying to keep the treasure from from you. We just ripped off Gortash. And if I know you and if I know you two at all, you're going to spend it all in the one spot and draw the bastard Archduke to be's notice. Before you protest, protest, remember Talek's bakery years back? I'm doing my best to deny it all to the fist, and you two don't even bother to wash the cake from your gobs. So if you found this, that means I'm off doing my business in the tunnels. So put it back and pretend you never saw it, like sweet little deers. And wipe your faces. And wipe your faces, Saren. Okay. So they stole something from... What's his face? Gortash. Undercity Ruins. There's also a backpack here. You've got friends in the guild. Introduction to this blood splatter, splattered piece of propaganda. Unkind people say to me, but how come the guild carved up the lower city like so much pumpkin, sizing it into segments for kingpins to rule from the shadows? To which I can only shrug and reply, Delegation, mate. How else are they supposed to get anything done? To carry the an analogy a bit, the pumpkin was ripe, and if it weren't cut by the guild, somebody else would have. Me, I'm grateful it was Nine Fingers and her organization, what got the carving knife out. Unlike a lot of vested interest in the city, the guild actually wants what's best for the city. Their view is this. If you've got to have crime, better it be organized crime. It's an interesting thought. Alright. Is this leading to the Temple of Baal? I think it is. Um, let's go get the teleporter thing. Voiceless Penitent Bereki. Should I talk to him? I guess we'll go talk to him. Let's save it in case something bad happens. You gotta remember, lazelle has been missing for like 10 hours now. Maybe even longer than that. Judging by the hanging corpses, this is going to be the Temple of Baal, though, down here. The penitent looks at you silently, expectantly. Who are you? The penitent doesn't respond, holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. Are you all right? The penitent doesn't respond. Holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. Uh, you running a shop here, aren't you? The penitent doesn't respond. Holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. Shall we trade then? There is the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his eyes. Ooh. Bone Spike Helmet. When you rage, hostile creatures in a 3 meter radius must succeed at a wisdom saving throw or take 2d4 psychic damage. The targets receive half damage on a save. Intimidation plus 2 and menacing attack melee. We'll take that. Armor of Moon Basking. You gain 22 hit temporary hit points after casting Wild Shape. While those temporary hit points are active, reduce all incoming damage by 1. You have a plus 2 bonus to armor class. You also have advantage on saving throws against spells. This effect persists while using your Druidic Wild Shape ability. It's also very good. We're getting a little broke, but I think you've got a lot of stuff we want to sell. Hopefully this will make us some money back. I think you want to sell everything in her inventory. We'll keep the animal friendship. Got us a little bit more money. Penitent blinks, you think. You were dismissed. Dismissed. Okay. Uh, latest. This goes to you. This goes to camp. Fantastic. 
Here you go. Looking good. Let's move. Okay. Passage of Penitence. Let's read it. I'll give it a shot. Lathander to light, saloon to guide, Kelimvor to judge, and passage provide. A common religious passage often recited at a funeral blessing. A new passage takes over, adding to the common refrain a darker verse. For those who yet live, unworthy in guilt, no God's light shall find what hell they have built. How much farther can I go? Pretty rough. Grimlack verse 2. I right, pick it up then. So I can't like read it. Read. C is for Singer. Singe. Assassin Wizard of Fay. D is for Death Dockers. Cultists who slay. Mm. In a passageway. I'm pretty sure this is leading to the temple, but just in case it leads to the catacomb, because I feel like a catacomb could be in the Undercity, too. Let's take a look. Ancient Lair. What does this say? Oh, okay, good. Mystic Carrion and Mortality. We have found a place. Dead Halfling. Dead Human. Go and start stealthing. Never wanted the easy path. Ooh wee. So looking for a jar. We want to get to that jar before we touch anything else. Not seeing a jar. We're breaching Pike Staff, though. Maybe read these books. An ancient, an ancient stone, cold and damp to the touch. The letter carved on its surface appear. The letters carved on its surface appear to have been drawn by a clumsy and lab laborious hand. Where is she? Where is he? Promised life, eternal life, glory, riches, where is he? Okay. An ancient stone cold and damp but to the touch. Though the letters carved on it are archaic in form, it is recognizable as the common tongue. The high priest continues to sicken in spite of the Kyrugan's ministrations. I fear each breath might be his last. But with every exultation, he whispers to me of a means by which he might live on to walk among us still. He does not speak of the method, but I am sure it is a reliable one. Has he not performed such miracles for others in the name of the of our necromantic purpose? Has he not adorned himself with the jewels of his powers over death? Were he to succeed, what wealth, what further fortune might he draw to our glorious worship? He even offers me a mere... A mere acolyte, the honor of sharing his golden mortality with him. I dare not refuse. I cannot afford to. Okay. Um. I could have sworn there was like, supposed to be like a jar. With his heart in it. Right? Maybe it's in one of these. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. What does this do? I don't think it does anything, but we could probably block them off here. I don't know if that would be worth it, but... I'd uh, do it. Okay. 
Did I just take a lot of damage? Spell rot necros necrosis. He received 15 to 90 necrotic damage for casting a level 5 spell while you have spell rot. Oh shit. Do we all have spell rot? I don't think I do. Okay. There's a lot of enemies. Um. Good damage there. Back up over here. Hey, okay, you're gonna wanna rage. Alright. <clears throat> Can you make it down to this person? No. Okay, well, it looks like that worked, and we're not gonna be able to... Um... Move those steps. I was hoping you could kill this guy. Hopefully you did no damage to him. I right, move over here. Hopefully you draw some attention there. Alright, so you should be really good at this. Um, let's see. Do you want to summon the planar ally for this? Okay, it doesn't look like I can do that one. But there's a group over here. Let's let's burn them. Alright, come on, girl. Move over here. What do you mean target blocked? From what? How? Move closer. I'm so confused. Just do that then. There we go. One way to handle them. Jeez. Oh, I climbed up the wall. Okay. So they could just walk that way. <laughs> These are all dashing, so that basically means they're not doing much damage this round. <laughs> hey, it's a Connor. Ancient Servant. Okay, my turn. This is not a level 5 spell, so I should be able to do this, right? Can I get... Yep, right there. Okay. So spell rot's bad. I thought... I think cast level 4. I cast level 3. Oh, well. All right, um... Damn. Kill him. That doesn't kill him. God damn it. Now this is my happy place. All right. What was your happy place? Come on up. Again. 
Okay. Why did you take... Did you take damage too? I don't... I don't know. Yep, go ahead and do that. Good, killed a couple of them. Drink the potion. Hopefully they don't target Rook. Mummy Rot? Oh no. Why? God damn it, I hate it. Every single game that does it. And they all do it. All these games do it. It annoys me every time. All right, my turn. Kill him. Good. Um, go ahead and do the smash thing. Beautiful. Go ahead and do another one of these. Killed another one. Creatical miss. Get a different uh, rage power going in there. Good. Ow. Okay. Attack him. Good damage, good damage. Um... Can I do that again? No. Okay. Then I can do concussive smash on him. Immune to daze. That's fine. Almost got him killed. Alright, you're out of those, so you can't do that again. Um... We can do a moonbeam right here, though. Okay, so she is getting hit by that, too. I don't see, like, that indicator. Oh, it's right there. I'm dumb. Oh, well. Ow. Alright. They've got mummy rot now, too. Good damage. God, it's hot in here. Good. Is this one backbreaker? Do that, too. What is this? Oh, teleport. Okay. How do I move this? Right, there's a way to move it, I think, right? Yeah. Let me burn him up. What, moving it triggers spell rot? Well, that's dumb. I can't believe that didn't hit him. bonus action. Teleport over here. Help her. Okay, so Mummy Rot means she can't get healed at all. Like, even assist. Even though that's not really healing. Whatever. I'm fine with the teleport. Okay, so she's about to die. 
But we win. Uh, typical. Okay, I guess we gotta wait for Mummy Rot to, to go off or to wear out. Okay, that was, um... I mean, I didn't do well, mainly because I didn't see the Spell Rot curse because I'm dumb. Um, and I also didn't think moving Moonbeam would cause the damage to trigger again. Especially since it's, it didn't trigger the first time, did it? Because I was using an item to use it? I don't know. Alright, she can get up now. Um, how many of these revive scrolls do we have? I think we... Don't you have... Yeah, you have this. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Still alive, so that's perfect. Help her. That should be something they do automatically at this point. All right, go ahead, give us a short rest. Nice little nap. And I guess we can't heal like the the normal way, or just any kind of way. So I'll just drink a couple potions. Me. Okay, what let's take a look at what we have here. Remember, no spells. I guess we'll take the Breaching Pike staff. It's a plus two weapon. It's pretty cool. But honestly, kind of underwhelming at this stage in the game. At the ready. I feel that way with a lot of these uh, encounters is the loot often seems kind of underwhelming to me. Alright, I guess we'll loot everything now. Until we find this damn thing. No traps, a heart please. in a jar. Could be one of these vases, but... Could have sworn he said it was just like sitting on a table or something though. So maybe there's something over there. Kind of looks like there might be a path. I don't know. A silver goblet. Okay, well, we got this, all these treasure crates over here. What is that? Yeah, so there must be something there, because... Oh, weird. Aha! Okay, we'll be there in a second. Let's just make sure we got everything here. It's definitely not here, then. Okay. What a day. Go ahead and unlock this for me. Symbol. It's it's here, right? Like uh, the indicator's still saying it's in this room, but I'm not seeing it. There it is. It's his brain, not his heart. Should be easy. It's already all cursed now. It's because I touched something in there. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Jar of his liver. Okay, so it's got multiple things here. It seems like we're probably gonna want to find his liver or his heart. It feels like death itself. A sure sign of necromancy at work. Take his brain. Alright, that, that encumbers me. Uh, da, 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 da. uh okay, let's just give these to Carlac. You can hold these for me, Carlac. Thank you. A dead half elf. A 
something good here, I hope. Suppose. Swift as my feet can carry me. Okay. Still, we're supposed to find his heart, right? But well, we still haven't gotten that triggered, so. That goes upstairs. May we read this? The upper part of this tablet describes the necromantic ritual spells employed to adhere potions of a creature's spirit within its extracted organs. In then sealing these spirit infused organs inside funerary or urns and hiding them to preserve the life force contained therein. The bottom of the stone is crossed by a scratching of crooked letters that decipher as follows. A brilliant idea, but not an idea of genius, such as the concept that inspires in me. We're better to hide such precious treasures than inside the animated body of a guardian who doesn't even know it's there. A jar that plants immortality, hidden inside a zombie. It's almost poetic. Okay, so it's in it's in Thrumbo. Thrumbo. That's why. He, okay. All right. All right. I understand now. Okay, so we gotta go find Thrumbo and tell him that he has the heart in him. Probably not gonna be a good conversation to have, huh? We also need to get rid of this curse. Hey, buddy. Lovely seeing you here. Okay. I think that's probably a good place to end the episode. In the next episode, we will go... Well, I'm assuming we have to talk to Thumber. Let's see. We found a note in Mystic Carrion's lair and learned that he has been putting canopic jars containing his organs within his zombie servants to preserve his life force. We must tell Thrumbo. So yeah, we have to return to Thrumbo and tell him. So that's what we'll do in the next... What do we want to do it right now? I kind of want to do it right now. Ah, let's do it right now. Uh, da, 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 da. I wish I could just see the map. Um, deep side strand. Maybe that's close to it. I don't know. The central wall. Basilisk gates. Not far. Let's go to the central wall. Should we try and get decursed first? Um, do you have any more spell slots? No, you are completely dry. Mm. Well, let's go tell him. I don't think anything will happen from just telling him. Famous last words. Am I slower now, too? I feel slower. I need to go all the way down there. Why don't we Who just lay throws all this food on the ground? Fucking savages, man. Do you remember which way we came? Left, left, right. Oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. Awesome. Right here we go. Mr. Thrumbo. You came back. Please tell me you found a way to destroy Mystic Carrion. I know where Carrion keeps his canopic jar. It's inside your chest. Carrion made other jars. Any idea what I should do with them? Yeah, do you have any idea what I should do with these jars? You should destroy them. Get rid of every rotten part of him. Be careful, though. He'll know you did it, and he'll be really angry. How do you destroy it? You came back. Please, tell me you found a way to destroy Mystic Carrion. It's in your chest, buddy. What? His rotten heart was inside of me this whole time. <gasps> get it out. I have to get it out. Oh, 
Ah, he just puked up a heart. Okay. That slimy bastard. He hid it in me the whole time. Please, take that foul thing and grind it to dust. Okay, how do I destroy these things? Do I just, like... How do you destroy? Resistances. Fire vulnerability. Do I just, like, put them down and cast, like, a fireball at them or something? Is there a safe place I can do that? Maybe downstairs. There goes nothing. All right. Let's put him at the end of this hallway. All right, Karlak, you've got the other ones, right? All right. All right. Let's back up. With haste. And. A long way to go still. Hit him with that. There we go. So he's probably not too happy about that. Mr. Carrion's heart is destroyed. If we kill him now, he will die for good. Okay. Need to keep going. And since we're here again, let's just no see. Me yet. Somebody said you should be able to shoot it. Thank you very much for that tip. I had no idea that shooting it would make it come this way. I thought I had to pull it somehow. All right. Catch a break. What's over here? Scrapbook of love letters. This salt-stained scrapbook contains dozens of a dozen envelopes glued to its inner pages. Perhaps these envelopes once contained letters, but now all are gone but two. Letter one to Winky. Oh, Winky. How I long to be away with you on the open seas, away from the grime, that grim old flood tide, away where I can love you freely and without fear, with my ability to charm fish from the waves will never lack for food, and you know I never tire of your chowder. Letter two, dear Salty, the moon shays, I'll show them to you, lass, <laughs> and we'll chance on them silver beaches in the silver moonlight, but I don't want no trouble on the sea journey on our sea journey so first i must make my peace with umberly with a grand donation not much longer salty lovely is there anything important in here smuggler's note hey one eye sure i can get you and your wave servant philly out of out of town without captain grizzly or the flood tide knowing meet me at the abandoned beach house you know about you know about when the moon rises on the night of 14 Marpanoth. bring that uh begemmed dagger i like sneggers scrawled beneath that in a different hand 1486 hmm open up a key ooh counter house safe key number 6 awesome is this a safe right here it looks like it is, but it's not something I can interact with. All right, so we had a uh, safe key down here, so that's good. Found one of those. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was close. There's a trap. Disarm that for me, buddy. Awesome. Never a dull moment. All right. And that is going to be where we end this episode, guys. In the next one, we're going to go take on Mystic Carrion. And we'll be done with that quest line. And then I guess we'll head back over to the west and see what's going on with those that murder spot. In that big old house we saw next to the park. But until then, hope you all have a wonderful day. And oh, we got to get rid of the curse too. And I'll catch you later.